Well, Dr. Chris and Jessen joins me now. Do you know what? Watching this, it looked to me like, wouldn't it be great if the NHS was like this? Because it's a real holistic approach that you take and you've got time which they don't have. That's the luxury. There's no difference between me and any other doctor other than I have lots of time because yeah. of telly, really. Of course, of course. And you course. see in this just how much there is to cover, a relatively mm. simple problem, a tummy ache. There's so much more behind it. There are layers within layers that we uncover. No, exactly, and you never really get to that sometimes. When you, when you, you know, GPs are completely overwhelmed, aren't they? Totally, yeah. You know, is it not something mad, like three and a half minutes per patient or something? If you're lucky. <laughs> I mean, it's... Nuts. You and can't. that's always a worry for me, is that are we, we sort of showing, you know, am I super doctor or something like that? <laughs> and I'm absolutely not. Far from it. Quite the opposite, actually. But um, you think maybe we ought to try be thinking about changing the system to give a little bit more time oh, so we definitely. can actually help patients a little more holistically. No, exactly. It must be incredible, though, for you when you cure someone or you change their lives. Because you're, do you're doing that in your day job anyway, because you're GP in your, your, your mm. day job. So... But when you do that and people go away and you've changed them for the better, that must be amazing. I think it's, uh, we, it would be a, a wrong to say we weren't slightly, you know, pleased when something goes really well like of that. Course. Of course you are. And I think there's no harm in feeling pleased with yourself Too when right. it goes well. It's very satisfying, actually. No, I can't believe this because look at you. Yeah. But you actually aren't that confident. I mean, you've had problems in the past about looking in the mirror and thinking... I don't know what you're seeing, but you're not seeing what we see. Uh, no, <laughs> that's, that's the nature of the beast. It's, yeah. it's exactly that, is what I see is not what other people see. And that can get very, very disjointed. And the more sort of uncomfortable you are if you're going through a rough patch, that mm. becomes even more sort of shifted the wrong way. But are you still like that? Do you still have that sort I'm of better. body dysmorphia? You're better. I'm better. Good. But when I go through bad patches, I'm now more aware. I can, I can see when I'm going through a rough patch and yeah. I know now what to do, whereas before it was all just a little bit out of control, you know. But the thing about you talking... I mean, look at you, for goodness sake, uh, Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> For goodness sake. I just see, look at the sunburn. Oh, goodness no, me. Use sun cream, use sun cream. But the thing, the thing about you is you've got all the information and you, you, you know all of that, but it must help other people who are going through it when they see someone like yourself even talking about it, even acknowledging it, you know? I think I think it sounds like a bit of a moan. Oh, I'm not happy with my no, body. No, no, uh, but it's it's not, not that. No. It's a it's a sort of deeper thing. It's a dis you know disconnect between yeah. what you see and how you feel about yourself. It's a self-esteem thing, and that's why this show, there was so much of that. Yeah. Um, the sort of self-esteem issues, as, mm. as she was saying, as Emma was saying, you know, when I look in the mirror, I just hate everything that I see. But I think there'll be a lot of people watching Absolutely. who feel exactly the same way. Well, that's the thing about the programme. It is actually going to help people. Whilst we all love to see you know to watch people getting better mm. um, and sometimes you know to find out what's wrong with them and, and you helping them you it will have the effect of if you're watching and think that's happening to me yeah I know oh, I'm not the only one yeah and that's <laughs> that's such a lovely thing it's like a yeah. hand reaching out and going it's all right we're in this together sure. and we can do this together and you see that there's hope and that's that's I mean, you know if I can just if telly can just say there is an answer there are other people like you and there is hope no. job done for me exactly exactly it's on the w channel this is a new one w channel at nine o'clock tonight nine so o'clock tonight excited. yeah do you get nervous when things like that are coming out are you yeah i do i a really nervous do excitement I, I, cause I really care, I want them to do well. And also, you know, sort of my whole professional life is on the line in a way. Yeah. It's all my medical skills are going to be assessed of and course, all of this stuff. Of and I, I just want the show to be liked and I want it to do some good. As no, well. of course. Yeah. What I found, I was actually quite shocked by this, the fact that you're an openly gay man, of course mm. you are, um, but you get a bit of stick for that because you're a doctor? Is that true? I can't... There's this weird in idea. This that, century? I know. I oh, don't. I know. Don't get me started. Really? How long have we got? But, I know. Yeah. I, I, and you know, I work in sexual health, and of course, the, the shows I've done before, embarrassing bodies, super size, super yeah. skinny. You know, it was often aimed at a younger audience, and I used to get some horrible comments that, as a gay man, I would be treating younger people, and there was something oh, inappropriate about please. that. And you think, oh goodness. But what can you do? You just carry on doing well, what you do. Well, the thing yeah. is, exactly, you carry on doing what you're doing, and you do it beautifully, Thank absolutely you. beautifully. <laughs> tonight, we're going to be there tonight, nine o'clock on the W Channel. Yeah. And it's it's brilliant. It's just great to see people bouncing out of that surgery, feeling better about themselves. It was hard work to film. It was emotionally very, bit, draining, very draining, but so satisfying at the end of it. So you just smashing job. Thank you, Thank you. very much.